Yo guys, Thirsty Gogeta back at it again, and today, since the um, since we don't have any Rise of the Beast stuff going on until tomorrow when the Super Bowl happens, and we'll get more uh, a new trailer, so I'll definitely be looking into that. But today, I wanted to talk about my overall view on the new what's been basically going on with uh, Godzilla as of lately. And uh, new movie, new movie from Toho, maybe coming out either midway this year or maybe um, maybe at the end of this year, some sometime later around fall, which would be nice. I mean, if they were to release it on uh, November third, that'd be very cool. That that's Godzilla's anniversary. And it's literally a day bef like literally before my birthday on November fourth. And that would be very funny, and it would give me a, uh, an excuse to do like probably go to the theater on my birthday, if they even show it in American theaters at the time, which I highly doubt they will. But anyways, God's uh, the new Apple Plus Godzilla show. They are showing bits and pieces more through more of that throughout uh throughout 2022 and this year and i have to say i am definitely pumped up for it since it's for the monsterverse and the monsterverse is really gaining some steam right now since a new movie is in the works which is going to be our further discussion with in this video and um uh, monsterverse kong anime for netflix um I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, I would like to see more animated products from the MonsterVerse depicting our big guys, but um, but I would like those to be like little side projects, like more side pro, like a, more to the side than what these new series are already, just to be like funny spoofs or something. But um. It, I'm pretty sure it would be pretty cool and pretty well animated and people are wondering like where are the new like where is news at for it since we're getting more news about the Apple Plus Godzilla show than we are with uh, the Kong Netflix series and recently we've had a guy say it's coming guys it's still a thing so obviously they're still working on it can't wait for it but that new Godzilla Apple Plus show, I'm happy to hear that uh, that the director himself, he was saying that he was glad to show new monsters and old monsters. And uh, nice to show that Godzilla basically being in the city and people running for their lives. So that is good to hear to know, like to good to hear that we are going to be seeing the big guy going around doing his normal shit, just destroying everything alongside with other monsters. And, um, now what really caught my attention was, like, obviously, like, new monsters, but they're not gonna show, like, Rodan or Mothra, because they're still, like, within the timeline, the new, the, this new Apple Plus series is in between the events of 2014 and 2019. So it's in between there. So we're not going to see Rodan or Mothra. Ghidorah would be uh, pretty cool. Now, Dangerville was talking about this. And if you've never heard of Dangerville, I'll definitely be leaving a link in, in the description below to those guys. They're an awesome, very awesome Godzilla monster channel. Anyways, they were saying that if they were like working up to the threat of Ghidorah or kind of like leaving bits and pieces to get kind of in the background to eventually get to Ghidorah in some form or fashion that that would be pretty cool to have in the show and um another thing kind of loom uh, looming like kind of looming over of Kong or how things were gonna end up with that now they didn't show that but that's something that would be nice that I think would be shown like them finding cave paintings of these guys like I have right here that and we're going to definitely be talking about this. So 
See, knowing that we're gonna be seeing some monster madness will is nice to nice to hear. Very nice to hear. Now about this cave painting right here. Now, if you didn't know, but a mass majority of Godzilla fans and Kong fans know about this cave painting right here. But if you don't know, this cave painting showed up in a Godzilla and Kong versus Kong mashup with Call of Duty Warzone, and you would go around the map and you would find cave paintings of the big guy and Kong and eventually someone ran into this while during a match and honestly this is pretty fucking cool this is depicting Godzilla fighting some sort of monster and um I don't know what exactly to make of this it looks like he has a uh... wait a minute no 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 I thought that there was two tails, but no, that's his, that's his other arm on the other side. So it's probably the, uh, the painter depicting uh, him going for a slash at Godzilla. So this is pretty interesting. Like you can see that he kind of has like a turtle shell-esque hide. Like you, this line all right here, kind of... Uh, Kind of related to Anguirus, which is pretty cool. And he obviously has some spikes going on right there. God damn it, Nathan. Nathan! Sorry about that. And he has some spikes going on, going like on his head. And this is pretty interesting. Um, it could end up being a, an original thing, like an original idea that the monsterverse like allowed call of duty the call of duty creators to do or might be uh, might be uh, kind of giving us an idea of what the new godzilla and kong origins monster might you know, like a villain might be which would be pretty awesome to have a new original monster but a lot of people are really really wanting a toho monster which we'll get onto that later on in this video and, uh, I'm getting, like, Anguirus on steroids kind of, uh, kind of vibes from this, because it has the turtle shell thing going on, and it has the spikes around the head, but it could also be teasing at possibly Space Godzilla. A lot of people lately have been thinking that Space Godzilla is going to be the new villain. And that kind of eases into our next thing going on right here. So this cave painting was cut from the Godzilla vs. Kong movie. But the Monsterverse guys did not hesitate on showing us what, uh, what was cut from the film. And this cave painting right here depicts a flying Godzilla from the hit game Flying Godzilla. Just kidding. Um, right here fighting off a whole bunch of Kongs right here and Godzilla's so this kind of sparked a lot of people thinking that Space Godzilla was going to be the next villain and honestly I really hope in some form or fashion that he is because I Space Godzilla is one of my favorite characters and um I just would really like to see that whole, like, uh, I can't remember the name, but Gia in the Godzilla vs. Kong novel was stating about a Godzilla who swallowed a star and became wicked. And I can't exactly remember the name, but I did start with a Z. Uh, I know, but best commentary ever. Um, so it this might be depicting that story that she was telling in the novel. And I, I do have the novel, and I did read it, and seeing that kind of, like, made me excited, because seeing an evil Godzilla might be, he might be the next big villain. It, it, ugh, it's awesome, it's awesome to hear that. Seeing Space Godzilla show up in the MonsterVerse, pulling up on Kong and Godzilla, would be amazing like my god a lot of people would be a lot of toho like a lot of old godzilla fans 
would be screaming their asses off the moment this big guy would show up on screen. And honestly, I would too. I mean, a, a space Godzilla. That, that's very marketable as well. I mean, look at this Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla movie. That, that movie was big. It was amazing. Now, was it a big cap-off like the Destroyer? Maybe not, but it still was amazing nonetheless. And having Space Godzilla show up would be awesome. It would be fucking awesome. It would be fucking awesome. It would be fucking awesome if Space Godzilla were to show up. Now, on to our next probable villain, Destroya, or Destoroya. Now, all Godzilla fans, or most Godzilla fans, are well familiar with this doodad right here, the Oxygen Destroyer. Now, it was in the original 1954 Godzilla movie. It's what basically killed Godzilla at the end. And, um, a lot of the Heisei to Millennium Godzilla movies were basically connecting that movie to their timeline. And in the Heisei era, this was, uh, so the 1954 was basically connected to that movie, stating that the Oxygen Destroyer basically created Destroyer. And that's what made people what led people to believe that ever since the 2019 Godzilla movie and the showing of the Oxygen Destroyer showing up to try to wipe out Godzilla and Ghidorah at the fight in the ocean, but it didn't work on Ghidorah because of his physiology and he's from space and it won't work on him. And it, it basically whipped Godzilla's ass. Did it kill him? No, but it, landed flat, you know, made him land flat on his ass. And I think this would be a great way to introduce Destroya. And my friend Raiden, the Attack of Geek, um, that's his YouTube channel. I, I mentioned it in the last video. Or did I? No, I did not. But I probably have mentioned him in my Early, no, my uh, earlier videos, but um, he really thinks that Destroya should show up as the next villain. And honestly, yeah, having him show up would be pretty fucking metal, man. Destroya, just him coming up and knocking the shit out of Godzilla and Kong would be fucking amazing. And having Godzilla have his burning form show up once more would be pretty fucking cool. Or Godzilla getting a new power-up. That'd be pretty fucking amazing. And, um... Having more Toho monsters show up into the MonsterVerse would be pretty cool, to be honest. Like Anguirus, Biollante, Destroya, Kaiser Ghidorah. All these guys would be amazing. I would love for these guys to show up. And this kind of gives us a way to talk about possible new villains in the future for the MonsterVerse. Because no doubt that Godzilla and Kong Origins is probably going to prosper. It's probably going to bring in a lot of money. And the MonsterVerse will realize, like the guys behind the MonsterVerse, Legendary and Toho will realize, Hey, this is getting us a lot of money. And... Recently, I think sometime in 2022, Toho and Legendary renewed their licensing and renewed their contract. So they might be making a hell of a lot more video eh, videos, a hell of a lot more movies and shows in the future. And this will give a, give way for more give way and give more room for more Toho monsters to show up. And for Kaiser Ghidorah to show up now a lot of people already got used to the three-headed dragon of, like, the normal King Ghidorah show up. And I guess that would be a little weird for people. Like, oh, we already had a three-headed dragon. Now, Godzilla fans will be fucking creaming their pants 
if Kaiser Ghidorah showed up. I definitely would. And he's one of the most powerful Ghidorah variants to date. Even with all these newer ones showing up. And having Kaiser Ghidorah would be pretty interesting. And now having him... Uh, Ha introducing him in a way with lore and everything would be pretty interesting since we already have a Ghidorah in this MonsterVerse lore. Biollante would be pretty fucking cool. I mean, with the MonsterVerse down more in, like, the natural world kind of view of things or more, like, biological-ness. Jacob, you literally... St like, you're literally into... Marine biology. You should know this lingo by now. Anyways, um, having her would really fit, to be honest. Like, all the flowers and all plant life show up. Would It would fit. It would really fit. Now, interest, now how, showing how she would come to be would be the interesting part. Because she came to be... Uh, with a human soul and Godzilla's DNA and plant and a rose, obviously. And, um, that would be too weird and too wacky for the MonsterVerse, but, I mean, they showed the, ho the Hollow Earth, so it might not be too wacky, but who knows? Who knows? But seeing her coming up from the ground and her getting ready to duke it out with Godzilla would be awesome. But overall, anybody coming in to duke it out with Godzilla is just going to be awesome. That's just how it is. Now, Gigan. Showing him or like introducing him would be introdu you know, like inter interesting to say the least. It would be... Um, I don't know how they would introduce him, but um, having him in the MonsterVerse would be interesting. Now, they were thinking about it. They were thinking about it for the 2019 Godzilla movie. They were going to have him be one of the monsters to pull up whenever God's, after Godzilla destroyed King Ghidorah. And this shows right here because it was in the concept art. And um, I don't know how they would still... Ah, Mom! I don't know how they would introduce him. I don't know. It'd be very interesting on how they would introduce... <laughs> I forgot I downloaded this after... Okay. So, um... Mother! So, anyways. Having... Gigan in would be very, very interesting on how they would have him show up. Maybe Apex could could possibly uh, take Muto remains and turn it into a robotic killer. Maybe. Maybe. So, that's all I got for today. Talking about our Lord and Savior Godzilla. Yeah, that's all I got for today. So I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more of me. And I will be definitely le leaving a link in the description below for Dangerville. And this has been Thirsty Gogeta signing out. Peace.